Okay, hello and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to do a follow-up on my previous video which detailed some issues that Rolex owners have been having with recent movements. So what I want to cover today is how to actually determine if your watch has the low amplitude issue by using a time grapher. What I have here is the entry-level Wishi 1000 time grapher that, that I just got off eBay. But before we fire it up and test the watch, let's first review the testing procedure. Now, shout out to Rolex forum users Saxo3 and Highboost for detailing how to test the watch. You can find relevant links to these forum posts in the description below. So what we're going to do first is we're going to wind the watch fully. So for this Rolex Submariner 124060, you need about 40 full crown winds. Just going to do that now. Okay, winding done. I'm just going to screw the crown back in. Nice and tight there. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the watch on the time graph for in five different positions. That is dial up, six up, nine up, three up and dial down. So firstly, we're just going to set the watch on the time graph like this. Okay, nice and tight there. And then we're going to wait about 15 minutes for it, for it to settle. Okay, 15 minutes done. So what we have to do now is actually set the uh, lift angle for this watch. So that I'm going to go to settings and set it to 53 degrees. <clears throat> now note that the lift angle is not something that I control, it's more of a constant of the movement. So I'm just informing the time grapher that this is the right lift angle in order to get an accurate reading for this movement. And then we can start getting some data. So I'm just going to keep the watch like this for about a minute. And then I'm going to take a note of the amplitude, which is this value right here. Okay, one minute is up. We make a note of the amplitude, which is a very healthy 289 degrees, and then move on to the next position, which is six up. So for that, I'm just gonna rotate the watch in the six up position. Okay, here we go, six up. Wait another three minutes for it to stabilize, and then measure again in the same way. So we do these for all five positions and then you should take uh, these five measurements every 12 hours for at least the first 24 hours after a full wind. Now in between measurements you should just let the watch rest on the time grapher in the dial up position and don't move it. Here are the results for my uh, Submariner after measuring it three times within 24 hours. Now fortunately for me the amplitude is still above 200 for all positions after 24 hours. The consensus from watchmakers that have worked on this movement is that something is wrong with the watch if the amplitude drops below 200 after less than 24 hours from full wind. And then it's only a matter of time before timekeeping is affected. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll catch you in the next one.